All right, back at the same spot with the second version of the gold gutter. Simple objectives. I'm gonna put a safety pan down. I don't want any good material in the safety pan. There wasn't any last time. Um, I wanna see better flow through the front of this thing. It's more like a trommel now. So I wanna see more, materially, more, more material flowing uh, off of it. And I wanna see better movement down into the lower part. And as far as the lower part goes, it's the same, except that I, I drilled some holes in the front to get some water flow in there. So we're going to, uh, we're hoping that the jets of water are gonna move the unwanted material out of the bottom collector and leave us with just black sand. Feels pretty, pretty classified. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. First, I'll see what we caught in the safety pan. Not much black sand and no gold. So that's good. A lot of black sand. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, good gold in there. Yeah, given the effort, it's about not typical. I think I see, I count uh, six or seven specks in there, so that's a typical. For three or four shovel falls, that's about what you would expect. I'm not gonna show it because it's getting too dark, but suck this up and quickly pan out the coarse material. Some black sand, but not quite as much as was in the lower. So it didn't look like it didn't fully classify the material, but presumably if we would have left it in the water longer, it would have <clears throat> done that. All right, pan this out. Actually got about four to five pieces of fine gold. So tells me I needed to let it let it classify longer or change the device so that it, uh, maybe put it at, at a steeper angle so that it uh, classifies better. Because I had the safety pin in there, <clears throat> I had to put it at a, at a less aggressive angle. So I guess next time I can test it without the safety pin and see if it uh, classifies material faster.